Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about something that I am dealing with on a daily basis as of now. And oh my god, it's teething. It makes you want to pull your hair out because you feel so bad for your baby and you don't know what to do. So I decided today that I would talk about a couple of things that I have read online, what's working, what's not working for Caden, and discuss with you guys some options. So if you guys are going through what I'm going through, which is going crazy wanting to pull your hair because your poor baby won't stop crying because he's teething, then hopefully these are a couple options for you. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about, they are called plush teething toys. Lots of times you can get them in one of those like crinkly, blankets um, and babies like to chew on fabric. I'll just show you a little picture of one right here because I don't have one. But those are good options. I know I have personally looked for a couple on Etsy and I've seen them. Um, I personally haven't tried them but I've heard that that is one option. Um, another option is your finger. The, when babies are teething they like the pressure on their gums and something to chew on. That's the basis of the whole thing is they like to chew. One thing that I have is this little bunny rabbit teether thing. It's got two little fingers. This is actually specifically made for teething and brushing the gums and getting babies used to having things in their mouth before you're brushing their teeth. So this we do use on Caden. We will sometimes wet this and then put it in the fridge just to make it ultra cold and then rub our fingers over our gums. It's just a little bit of a cleaner way. And then I don't wash it with soap because I'm afraid of like the residue being in it, but I do like a really good hot rinse and put it in our sterilizer machine thingy too. Another option is cold fruits or vegetables. I know one thing you can do is take a carrot stick. As long as you've washed it and shaved off all the excess, you can use a carrot stick and they can gnaw on it. I don't know if you'd want to do it specifically if they already have teeth, but Caden doesn't have teeth yet. I don't really have to worry about him biting off pieces and choking. Yet, all these things I'm going to mention, you don't want to do unsupervised with your child, but that is another good option. You can also freeze fruit. I know we have cut up cantaloupe and put it in one of those baby mesh feeders. It's kind of like a mesh that's got a handle for the baby to eat and you can, they can chew on it and you don't really have the risk of them choking because the mesh, it will make sure it doesn't break off big pieces. Um, I'll insert like a picture here because ours is personally getting washed right now and I don't want to show a dirty one, you know? That is another good way that you can feed them the frozen fruit and vegetables. You can also feed them frozen baby purees and stuff like that. Wooden teething toys or rings. Um, there's lots of wooden teething toys where it's like a wooden teething toy and usually there's like a little piece of cloth wrapped over it. I've seen those on Etsy. Those apparently work really good. Also, if you don't want, like, don't have the money or time or whatever to buy stuff, you can also use like a wooden spoon as long as there's no finish on it and it's like obviously in good condition. You can give that to your baby to chew on, but again, you're not going to give that to your baby unsupervised. Another option is amber teething necklaces. Caden has one of these and I love it. I really feel like it does work. If you don't know what an amber teething necklace is, basically it is a resin and when it sits against your skin, it warms up and it it kind of releases like and like uh, the same type of things as like Advil, like anti-inflammatory and pain relief and it really helps with teething. Caden does wear this every day except for now obviously I took it off him to show for the video but I really do think it makes a big difference because if we take this off for one day even the amount of drool that he has is amazing like he drools so much when he doesn't wear this so it's got to be doing something. So another option which I think is pretty cool is I cubes. For us, Caden is still breastfeeding, so what I do is you can make an ice cube of breast milk and freeze it for your baby to have. Now, of course, a baby's not going to want to hold on to something really cold, um, so one option is you take the lid of say a bottle or whatever depending on the bottles you have and you fill it up with breast milk. Now this isn't a lid, this is a shot glass but I actually have some boob milk popsicles going on in the freezer so I don't want to pull them out because they're not frozen yet but you would fill it up with milk and then take a pacifier which has a handle in and like so and place it over top and then put it in your freezer and then you're able to pull it out and have a booby popsicle which is awesome. Another way you can feed it to them is scraping it off and kind of into a slush and then feeding the baby by spoon the slush and the coldness will really help and it's that familiar taste that they're used to. 
Caden is talking in the background. You can also just take either the frozen breast milk or water or frozen puree, whatever floats your boat, and you can wrap it up in a handkerchief and give it to the baby that way. That way they have something to hold on to, but it, the coldness and everything will just seep through the handkerchief for them and help relieve their pain. Also, you could just use a frozen washcloth. Take a washcloth, obviously a clean one, wet it and put it in the freezer, which is kind of like this, how I was talking about this, how I like to wet this and put this in the fridge, but you can actually put it in the freezer. Then they have this cold frozen washcloth, which is really nice because the fabric, they can rub against their gums and really helps relieve the pain. Also, another thing you can do with the washcloth, it has been proven that chamomile tea, for some reason, helps with teething. So you can actually soak the washcloth in chamomile tea and then freeze it, and that's another option instead of just soaking it in water. Or even just a pacifier. When talking to my public health nurse, they said giving your baby a pacifier isn't bad because it gives them something else to do. Instead of thinking about the the gums hurting, it gives them another thing, so it kind of takes their mind off of it as well. They can chew on the plastic if they like or gives them something else to do. Lastly, I just wanted to talk about some of the toys that I have for Caden for teething. What works, what doesn't. I bought this toy for him. Um, it is dirty right now because obviously I need to wash it, but uh, I don't no, oh it's by Munchkin and this is specifically for babies that are teething their front teeth. Do I think this works? No, <laughs> really I don't. Caden is not interested in it. He doesn't want to chew on it so it's a waste of money and I wouldn't get it. This is another one I bought. This is a teething toy. It's got a gel in it. It's supposed to keep cold longer. Caden doesn't necessarily like this because it gets so cold that he can't physically hold it. The only time he'll ever use this is if we physically um, hold it in his mouth and then he'll chew on it and it does work. So it's kind of like a 50-50. This is his favorite one. This is this little bird. It actually came with, I think his extra saucer by baby Einstein or something like that. What we did is we just hooked these links so then he can actually hold the link and then put it in his mouth and this probably is his favorite because it's so thin and it's easy for him to put in his mouth. So anyways, I hope that helped you out. I hope that it makes you pull your hair a little less and not freak out as much when you come to your baby teething. These are just some options, some toys that work, and some options that I've read about because I've been doing a lot of research for teething and like what's worked, what hasn't, and that type of stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching my video. I will talk to you guys next time. Love you. Bye. Truly absorb. Next, you're going to need some honey. Honey is awesome because it helps your hair stay. Healthy. And lastly, you're going to want one egg.